Example 4, find the equation of the circle that is tangent to the x-axis, to x equals 7, and x equals negative 5. So we're given a bunch of information about this circle and told to put it in standard form. First thing we're told is that it's tangent to the x-axis. So this circle's touching the x-axis. So let's just draw a line here to emphasize that. It's also tangent to x equals 7. So x equals 7 is going to be right here. So it's tangent to this. It's also tangent to x equals negative 5, so out here. So I'm going to end up with a circle that's that's touching, that's tangent to these three things. Let's think about what that tells me. I need to find h and k, so I need to find the center. I also need to find the radius so I can find r squared. If this extends from, it's actually negative 5, negative 5 to 7, that gives me the diameter. So the diameter goes from 7 all the way to negative 5. So if I just add 7 and 5, the distance from here to here, plus the distance from here to here, I'm going to get the diameter equals 12. The radius is 1 half the diameter, so the radius equals 6. So I found that the radius equals 6. The radius is going to extend from these endpoints to the center. And I know that it's 6, so I know that the radius is going to go from 7 over here, 6 away from that. So 7 minus 6 is 1. It's going to go up to x equals 1. So again, that's because the length of the radius is 6. So the distance between the center and this endpoint has to be 6. So 7 minus 6 is 1. So the radius is going to extend from there to there. Therefore, the center has got to be, the x value of it is going to be 1. Now, what is the y value of the radius? The other thing I know is that this circle is tangent to this x-axis. So I know that it's going to have an endpoint on the x-axis. And then if it's going to extend from here to here, it's going to be equal, it's going to have to go up to 6. So therefore, the center is at 1, 6. All right, so the radius equals 6, and the center is at 1, 6, and that gives me an equation x minus 1 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals the radius squared. If r equals 6, then r squared equals 36. Again, that's based on knowing that this is tangent to negative x equals negative 5, x equals 7, and the x-axis. So I had the diameter of 12. I divided that by 2 to get the radius. I know that I have an endpoint here and an endpoint at the center along the x. So that gives me the x value of the center, which is 1. I know I have an endpoint here and also an endpoint at the center, so it has to be up at 6. So that gives me 1, 6 for my value. Okay, and this is just drawn schematically because the center would actually be higher up here. This is just to give you, so the center is actually going to be up here now that I have my value. It's going to be at 1, 6. Okay, that concludes this lesson of educator.com on circles. Thanks for visiting.